In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we leave our terrible shoal anchorage west of Chub Key and finally make our way to Bimini. We wander between three anchorages trying to find the best compromise between anchor set and swell. A nice day lures us back to the SS Sapona to dive this wreck turned reef. Turtles, rays, barracuda, reef fish, and crabs entertain us throughout. Hanging out on anchor, I make my own entertainment. Dance party! If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. What are we doing today, Captain Dave? We're sailing. After having the just ever-loving <laughs> beat out of us on the anchorage last night. We were anchored right over there by that land that you can't see because there isn't any. In the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. No protection. The waves were huge, three feet, slamming against the boat. 20 knots of wind. 20 knots of wind. It was not fun. When do we get to the fun part? Uh, when we get to Bimini. That's today's, right. Today's going to take us, uh, uh, if we keep going this speed, it's going to take us about 14, 15 hours. But, uh, what speed are we going? Three and change. But are we turning? Do we turn? What? So we're losing our wind. So we're heading into the channel. The channel marker's over there somewhere, right, there, right behind you. There it is. Once we get up there, we can turn and catch some more wind. Okay, and there's the sunrise, guys. Because we were the, up at the crack of dawn. Let's have some coffee before we kill each other. Okay. Shark check. Lots of people partying over there. Lots of partying over there. This is Bimini. See, way out here. How much I put out? I put out 120 feet plus the bridle, so about 135 feet. So it's uh, steep here, it's about 17 feet. So we're gonna go take a look at the anchor anyway. I may not be able to dive down to her though. Now, this is what it looks like when it's buried. You ready? Look. Ooh. Completely buried! Completely buried! There's this much showing at the top of the hoop! <laughs> awesome. I'm gonna try to go down and touch it, but it'll be strange because I'm not wearing my snorkel gear. But it's fine because you have to hold your breath anyway, so it doesn't matter. Anchor check. <laughs> Woo! Exhausted. <laughs> but I touched it. Oh. We got storms all the way around us here in Bimini. But where's Lisa? Where is Lisa? I'm in the water! <laughs> We're the new fad. Fish attractant device. We got this big school of fish under our boat. Being hunted by a smaller school of bigger fish. Which explains these guys on the sugar scoop. Let's see if I can actually catch them. Okay guys, come on up and get them. And we're being waked. Yay, 
rinsed off the sugar scoop. There we go. Sitting here, I can never be bored of these views. No, it's dead flat. Might be some weather coming in there. Looks nice over here. It's sun nice is, over there. The sun is trying to come back out. Trying. Very trying. Very trying. The ocean is getting pretty rolly off the beach at Bimini North, so we move to Bimini South to see if it'll be calmer. It's shallower and there's a lot of traffic, but maybe the sandbar will cut down on the swell off the ocean. Every time we reset the anchor, we dive it again. When everything you own is on the hook, you check the hook. I left the chain a bit too long after the bridle. I'll have to tighten that up a bit. Anchor check. Uh, there's a great big uh, thing of whatever under there. Second thing is that I have to pull up some of the anchor chain. There's too much. Uh -huh. It's going to scrape in the middle of the night, wake us. Uh -huh. Yay! <laughs> We got four rays going by. Can't really tell what kind they are. Eagle rays, manta rays, probably eagle rays. The cool part about being right on the cusp of the ocean here in Bimini, right near the drop off, is we get a lot more life here than we see in other parts of the Bahamas. The chores are done, the anchor is set, the rum is flowing, the dance music is playing. Living on the anchor, I make my own entertainment. Next time you're looking for a challenge out on anchor, try dancing on your dinghy. Talk about a good core workout. Dancing has been a blast, but the rollers start building overnight, pushing us toward shore. Might have to move again.
It's okay, it's not great, but it's okay. All right, the rollers that Lisa was talking about earlier went to about six to eight feet and it was just too much and to get any work done. So we came down here. We're at South Bimini. South Bimini Beach Club is over there somewhere. You can still see the waves smashing into the break wall and into the rocks, but we are out of the swell in here. The holding is not great. We might dump another 30 feet of chain in the water just to improve in case the weather gets, you know, windy and swirly and all that crap. But you can see from the anchor dive that uh, it's holding. It's just not where we like it to be. There's definitely a trade-off. Definitely a trade-off. Definitely. But we can see the spawn from here. Which is, you probably can't see it on this camera, but it is surrounded by boats. Busy over there today. Woo! Woo! Made it back to the Sapona and we got huge turtle. A huge turtle greeting us. So instead of treating Sapona like a wreck dive today, we treated it like a reef dive and we got all kinds of cool footage. Check this out. I wonder if I can get through this door, maybe from the other side. Entering the engine room heading aft below me is the crankshaft. A tour boat came in, so there are a lot of people here now. We try to keep them off camera. Let's look outside the hull. other side of that door.
two anchor ports up there. And no anchor. How irresponsible is that? This reef is teeming with life. Six. There you go. <laughs> hey, dude. How's your legs? Love stingrays. Fish. So cute and goofy looking, just like Captain Dave. I find the inside of this ship fascinating. All the ribs and posts, it's surreal. I'm not chasing the fish, you're chasing the fish. Ever have one of those annoying co-workers that just have to disturb you? Yeah, that's me.
<laughs> I see you. Turtles. Barracuda lurking under the boat.